What up, family? Now, we know that Jada Youngin was shot and killed. Now, if you don't know the details on what went down, fam, his grandfather even came out and said that they came from behind the house. Mind you, he had his family house, his parents' house. Chilling. They out on the front. Somebody come from the back of the house, spray them up, right? We know Jada Youngin was active in that beef. We know that he had ops. We also know that he had done sign a deal. And when you sign a deal with the devil, you can expect the devil to come knocking at your front door, especially if you speak in a certain language and you got ops. Now, this situation, fam, is Braun got a lot of different individuals that had a problem with Jada Young. They was even trying to say, it was NBA young boy people. It's, it's, you know, some 4K trade. They got all type of stuff going on in the surface. When we know Julio Fulio and his problems with Jada Young, we know Julio Fulio do not hold his tongue when it comes to the ops and this and the dead. Gucci just made a record where he was saying he hate he started the trend with these YGs that's out here this and the dead. Now, as soon as Fulio got the word that Jada Youngin was dead, it made him happy, fam. <laughs> and that's crazy, man. He went straight to social media and he said, R.I.P. to Jada Youngin. Laugh out loud. With the LOL, laugh out loud. That's so much disrespect. It's pitiful. I'm talking about laugh out loud about another man being dead that ain't done nothing to you but maybe talk about you. Think of the magnitude of violence that these YGs have found with somebody just talking about you and you still not willing to forgive Forgive them, even if they did. Even if they did, fam. So when it comes to Julio Fulio, if you want to play the Fulio, you're not exempt from this program, homie. You're supposed to look at situations like this, whether it's your enemy or not, as a learning experience, fam. To where you ain't got to go through it. And it's sad to see these YGs out here with record deals, fam, they able to take care of their family, but they still worried about an op. It don't make sense. The only part that do make sense is that it's a hierarchy elite with the battery in the back putting life insurance on these rappers. They don't even want to give you a deal if you ain't Julio Fulio keeping up noise like what you're doing now to keep people uh, talking about you, fam. And it's a sad thing that J.D. Youngin had to go out like that. And if you're one of them ones out there with ops and think you can't be knocked off, you better take this situation firsthand and look at it, fam. Because J.D. Youngin, baby mama, his parents, they even got him at his mama house. Why would you go back to the neighborhood where you know people know? It don't make sense, fam. We seeing what happened to Dog. We see what happened with these other artists and still tend to go back to the places in the neighborhood, old neighborhoods where we from, fam. And that's what happened to you. And then you're going to have your foolios laughing at you like a fool after the situation is done. So it's not worth it, fam, at all. But I will keep y'all updated on situations like this, fam. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.